episode of Jurassic World Alive! Where, uh, Flocks have basically taken over the entire game. It is brilliant. <laughs> but we'll get more into that in the near future, I should say. Uh, because I am now thinking about ways that I can sort of claw my way back up to the top of the leaves. Because, um, spoiler alert, I am now starting to drop down so much that I'm entering Gyrosphere Station. Which actually isn't as bad as it sounds. Because when I am down there, games become fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost close, though. We definitely need this guy uh, for one of the hybrids. So how are you guys finding this new update? I am very curious because before uh, we had the Indorex or, you know, the Indominus new hybrid and everything like that. I felt like I had a grasp on what to put in first, what to do sort of thing. Whereas now I'm never confident with whatever I put in. If I put in like the thing is a lot of people will put in the Indominus Rex and the Indonemis in first. And I'll just not be, able, not be able to counter it. Like, it'll be the one time I have a hand when I don't have a flock. And I'm like, sweet. <laughs> but if I put it in, no, no, no. They've always, they've always, like, got a swap out or something like that. It always just feels like I'm, I'm, it, I'm just really unlucky with the hands. <laughs> but before we get into the meta and stuff like that, um, how about we talk about what Lydia has done recently uh, with the events last week, because I didn't cover it, uh, but they were very generous. They gave us, I think we had opportunities to dart Argentavis, which you need for uh, the Ardentus or whatever, Dreadnoughtavis hybrid, that flyer. Uh, we've got a, I think you could dart Blue, or sorry, I should say Beta. Even Carbonemis was one that you could dart. So they've basically, in last week's, given you ingredients to make Indonemis, um, the Compsoraptor, and I think even Albertosaurus, if you wanted this this guy. They gave you the ingredients to make that if you wanted to, which, you know, I'm all for. Very good. Um, but the only problem is I, it hasn't really helped me, I feel. But how about we look at what's coming up in this week? So from the October 12th through the 18th. So I think that's today or yeah, maybe yesterday. God knows. Oh, uh, yes, it was yesterday. The day of recording this. So we don't need to worry about well, Wednesday, Thursday. We don't really care. It's commons. Meh. Nothing we need to worry about. Uh, but Friday, I mean, you can already look. If you look, look above. Oh, you, oh hold on. Oh, I just realized I have this on the whole time. There we go. Now we look nicer. <laughs> We've got loads of good things coming. So Friday, you have two attempts. Now, you could get the Dredactylus thing, you could get the uh, Tarbogonathus, or you could get the Lystrosaurus hybrid. Um, each one goes into something good. Both flock creatures, uh, or all three, sorry, or triples. Um, and then on Saturday, you've got nine attempts to dart the Giga, Beta, or the Microraptor. I don't think I will just double check for you to make sure if Microraptor actually has a hybrid. Oh, it does! It has the Segnoraptor, that's right. And Segnoraptor seems to be really good, but I don't, haven't seen anybody use it in teams. Maybe it's a bit too fragile. It does have good speed. It has that crazy distracting triple strike, but it's always delayed by one. And you kind of want that right off the bat, or at least to be able to survive. Um, and eh, maybe that's what's causing it not to be used. But on the Saturday, out of all those, I would say go for beta. Um, it's it's just going to be good DNA to get for comp, uh, Comparaptor. And if you get a uh, Comparaptor, that is, I'm always making mistakes. I know, I just great. Um, but if you do dart beta, it's what, let's say you get a minimum of 200 per dart or like per uh, attempt. So 200 times nine. So like 1,800 uh, DNA and a pop, I think is 200. So, you know, it's, it's like nine attempts if you got 200 minimum. That's not so bad. But it doesn't end there either. Because on Sunday, you have maybe a mediocre. It depends. If, you've, if you're like me and you've already got Rexy maxed up, then it is a bit ooh. But you have the Ankle Morlock, which does go into something. I can't remember. Whatever. The Segno uh, thing, which we've just talked about, which hasn't really been used. Or I don't see it in the meta at the moment. Um, and Rexy. Probably want to dot Rexy. I wouldn't be surprised if later down the line that they decide to give Rexy a hybrid. Like, Rexy in blue. Could you imagine? I'd be, I mean, you would think that'd be an Indominus Rex, but no, it'll be... I don't know, what do they call friggin' Indominus Rex? Did it have a nickname? Indo. Maybe the Indo. <laughs> no, I don't know. Anyway, but Monday um, is a bit of a... Ooh, should we say a 90s term of snore fest? Yes. <laughs> uh, you got the Dreadnought, which actually I guess isn't so bad if you want it for the hybrid, so I'll take that back. 
Uh, but the marsupial lion and the megalonania, or whatever it's called, uh, the sloth, I don't think are too great. Uh, and then on Tuesday, I mean, this whole week is filled with amazingness. Wednesday, Thursday is just boring now. Um, but Tuesday, you get two attempts for Indominus Rex, which goes into like a plethora of things. Interrupted Gen 2, which doesn't, I'm pretty sure. Um, and also Alloraptor, I think that is. Out of those, probably Indominus Rex. I'll say. But anyway, with that being said, let's have a look back into the game. We can talk just, you know, where do you think this game is going? Here we go. As you can see, 5,897. Can we just... I love it. I love, we need a... We need a... Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, but there's also something I was going to get as well, and I can't remember what that was. Um, oh, yeah, the legend, the pass. We haven't even done that. We're sorry, blown out the mic. A oh, pass! Hey, it's Carbon Emmy! That's actually really freaking good. Okay, hold on. Let's start this. Um, yeah, I think the, the problem is that uh, I play Pokemon Go. I also play the, a new Warhammer game, and I play Jurassic World Alive. And they're all kind of different, except for Pokemon Go is very similar to Jurassic World Alive. Um, and I, you, I can't say that Pokemon Go has a better battle system than Jurassic World Alive. Jurassic World Alive is fleshed out and it's intense. That's why there's like such a meta as there is. However, Pokemon Go goes for a more laid back kind of feel. And I think that works in its favor. Now, here we go. If we talk about events and stuff. So let's say we want to do the nine attempts. It's only 24 hours for the beta. Let's say you, you, you know, this is the map, right? You've got a fair few around me. I'm sure maybe you guys might live in places which don't have this many uh, stops and what have you. Um, but I may only see... Oh, look, there's a Quetzal Gen 2 over there. <laughs> I may only see, like, one beta on this map. And I've only got 24 hours to do this. And let's say I sleep eight of those hours. So really, I've only got, what, like 16 hours in order to, you know, dart nine betas. Maybe I'll get lucky and some of the green uh, supply drops around me will have it. But more than likely, I'm not going to be able to get it, which is a bit of a shame. And that's the problem with this. It's I don't have enough opportunities to do it. And even if I go out... It's not really going to help too much. I mean, I've got some greens in the distances. As you can see, there's a park there and it's only got two. If I'm on Pokemon Go, that thing has got like 20 in there. But Jurassic World Alive, nah, two. I will admit that for some reason, Jurassic World Alive has more stops just generally dotted around the map than Pokemon Go does. Because Pokemon Go has to rely on like a specific uh, Google Maps uh, like thing. That's why you can see places that are dead. Whereas in Jurassic World Live, they just kind of put them anywhere. So when it comes to events, it, it does kind of suck a little bit. Uh, especially when you want to dart stuff. As you can see, I'm in 5,897. And at my highest was 6,105. And it's just been loss after loss after loss. And it always feels bad. Um, because I'll I'll be playing a game, a match. And my, was it, the Alberto hybrid will come in. It'll attack something. And it'll leave it with that much health. Or I'll be killed, and exactly the right amount I'll be killed. And it's just like, if I was one level higher, I would have won that game. I get it, that's how this game is. But the thing is, when you have these ultra-competitive PvP games, because that's what this is, um, you know, you don't see League of Legends or any other, like, pay to, not pay to win, but, you know, unlocking characters that have metas. You don't see, all of a sudden, them releasing a new character, and the character being OP. Maybe, maybe that happens every now and again, but for some reason, Jurassic World Alive have just become so blatant with how they monetize the PvP and these uh, the meta, basically. That's the problem. They monetize the meta. So a new thing will come out, it'll be so good, they'll buy incubators for it and everything, and then all of a sudden, it'll get nerfed and it'll not be used. Like, if we just have a look at all these dinosaurs, I will we'll scroll down and see how many are used. A, a Ceramagnus doesn't get used. Um, Gorgotrebex doesn't get used. Hadrosaur doesn't get used. Morton Rex, on a very rare occasion, I will see it. Ardennis Maxima, nope. Erlodominus, nope. The Giga, maybe, but not not very frequently. Indoraptor, or Indotaurus, sorry, yes. Magnetator, no. Monal Rhino, very little. Uh, Forex, very little. Scorbivorex, again, very little. Titana Boa thing, non-existent. Um, the deer, very, very low again. Thordor, very low, if it, uh, basically extinct. Trico, extinct. Like, that is just like what I've got maxed up, and maybe only four or five of them I may even have a chance of seeing. I probably won't see those. And the roster at the top, I will probably see most of the time. And yes, there's some things in here that, you know, I, I you will see that I haven't leveled up. But the majority of the time, it's, it's the meta is 
a monetizable roster of dinos that will only last a short period of time. And yet, we've got dinosaurs in here that are the same, you know, have been in here maybe five, ten times as long as other dinosaurs and just don't get used. And if you put that in a game like League of Legends or Overwatch or something where only maybe like six or seven of the characters are used and everything else isn't, you'd probably have people calling out, especially if the only way to get those characters was basically microtransactions. Because yes, maybe you can unlock it, but you need it to be max level. You need it to have boosts on it. And the only way you're getting that is basically microtransactions uh, or just dedicating your life to the game, basically playing it a whole lot. Um, it just sucks with the way that this game's going about it. Um, I don't know what else to say. And it's demotivating. You know, I used to play this every week a bit like, or every day, no, not every day, but you know, every couple of days I'd play this just because I'd be getting a new thing or striving for a new thing or something interesting would happen. But it just hasn't happened recently. All that's happened is that maybe I've got the Alberta hybrid up one level, but then I've dropped two to three hundred cups. So is that... I can't make content on that, Lydia. <laughs> like, what's happened is you've decided to put all your, um, your eggs into this one basket. We will milk our player base for as much as they're worth, and then just the content creators will have to either spend money in order to catch up or even to even show content. I, if anything, that's, that's my thoughts. It's been rambling. Um, I just kind of want to put them out there. Uh, I, I, maybe somebody from Ludio will watch this or maybe they already know that of the practices that are going on, but they can't do anything about it because it's not their job. Like, you know, this is the higher ups, this is the CEOs that are looking at these this money on the spreadsheet and seeing it tick up every time they release a new creature. So they're like, right, we'll just keep releasing new creatures. That's obviously the way to go. Uh, whereas, you know, um, the quality of life features in the game, like the sanctuary was nice when it was put in, but that was like two or three years ago now. We haven't had anything in there. And the thing is, I, I get how this works. Like you dark creatures and then you got that one creature and it's yours but for some strange reason i don't feel as attached to a single dinosaur in this game than i do for pokemon in pokemon go because i caught it at a certain location it tells me that it has certain statistics uh, you can level it up you can teach it different moves you can make it your buddy you can walk around with it. you can get candies you can take pictures with it you can there's so much you can do with a single Pokemon that, you know, you might not use in your team or anything like that. Whereas, I've only got one Indunemis. And if it's not good in the meta, it's worthless to me. I can put as many boosts onto it, max it up to whatever level. I don't know. I just thought that, you know, when this game first came out, it made sense to have that one. That is your Indunemis, and that feels good. But actually... Pokemon Go has it down. Like, you can nickname things, you can you know, trade things. Whereas this, this affects nobody else except for who I'm fighting. <laughs> uh, it just feels like the game would benefit highly from some updates, something else to happen in the game. But anyway, with that rant over, let's talk about this, the new pass. So I may as well collect all of these because, oh, why not? Um, and this one is basically just, yeah, sorry about blowing that mic. I'm, try I'm trying not to do that, but uh, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's for the new hybrid. Oh, the, sorry, not the new hybrid. Well, there is a new hybrid, as you can see it there, the 50, but it's a new dinosaur. Of course, it's a new flock because it always, always, a new flock because that's where this game's going and if creatures do not have a way to take on flock creatures oh i seem to have broken the game oh well that is fantastic or at least i can't collect anything sweet i can't even click x i can scroll up and down but that's all i can do okay we're gonna close the game and be right back <laughs> right where were we oh there we go we collected the emote fantastic <laughs> for some reason that apparently glitched the game uh, so yeah, this one's focusing on that, as well as marsupial lions and some other things. There's marsupial lion hybrids and the new uh, thing. The new whatever that is. The flock thing that goes into the hybrid. Um, and I haven't actually seen it put into teams. And I think that's probably because people don't have it maxed out yet. Um, but... There's a lot of dinosaurs now that uh, impending doom. Yes, that, that's that's how every wallet feels when a new creature comes out 110%. Um, but yeah, like I haven't seen it at all. And I think that's because people don't have it maxed out. And maybe it's not as good as some other dinosaurs like the Dreadactylus hybrid, which now it feels like as long as you have good flock dinosaurs, you don't need 
the counter for it. You don't need something that comes in and hits everything because what what difference does that make if you have to swap out in order to do that when if you swap out you're either attacked by something or the flock creature you're trying to kill gets invincible or gets a shield or gets a dodge that the swapping thing cannot take out so now i feel like this alberto spino is very niche like it does have its uses like the the revenge uh, priority is very good. The fact that for enemies especially, the precise revenge is very good. But the whole like swapping in to kill something isn't going to do much, if I'm honest. Especially against the flock, because like I said, you swap out, you take damage. Uh, but there is something I have been leveling up, and I thought I was so... Yes, there it is! The Allodrigus. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, buy the season pass for the last one, because I was like, is there any need? However, if I had done... Maybe it would be level 30. I think it would be 29. But also, I don't... Actually, I do have a lot of boosts, so I probably could make this usable if I wanted to. But the reason why this guy's good is because it has a way to not attack an opponent, which is a great way to avoid a counter hit. It also has some, like, really good attacks. It has the render, it has the cunning rampage, and it is immune to being swapped out, so that's great. Immune to damage reduction to a somewhat, and also a complete speed decrease reduction, which is great to have. But the one that I think everybody wants at this point, and I don't think I've leveled it up. Maybe I have. It's the dread something. There he is. Ha <laughs> ha. The Ardon Togo Nathus. That's the one. Ah, yes. Okay, so we'll level this guy up. Now, the reason why this one is very, very good is not only because it has a 25% crit and decent speed and all the other stats, but it also has a decelerating uh, side flap as well as an attack that can hit twice and also recover its health, which is very good. Defend Shattering Rampage. The fact when it swaps in, it heals itself. And if an opponent swaps out, it increases its speed by 30% for two attacks and gets a shield, which I think it says 100%. So I think that's invincibility. I mean, it says accelerated invincibility. Basically, it gets invincibility when you swap out. So unless you've got Paro, the Para um, one that swaps in, uh, you're not doing any damage to it at all. So Alberta uh, hybrid isn't any good. It also gets a 5% increase to its uh, crit chance when it's hurt. Its attack pretty much can't be reduced as well as another thing. Um, so yeah, and a 75% chance to stun. Stun just needs to be taken out of the game. If you've got everything that is immune, basically, like 75% chance to resist the stun, if something gets stunned, it uh, feels bad. Like at least make it 50%. But if you're gonna make it 75%, then just get rid of it. <laughs> like, stun was such a meta thing when it was introduced, and now it's like, just just a freaking nuisance. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit, I'll be the voice of reason. To, to an extent, of course. I have my own biases, yes. Uh, but, you know, we'll level this guy up. I think we get it to level 25 is probably the push. We didn't get too many of this. Yeah, 200... Get to tw maybe 26 at a push. We'll see. But I see this guy a lot. Uh, Comso Raptor, the Ardontogonathus, which is this, or the uh, Aldrigus uh, bird. Oh, we get to. Oh, we might even get to level 27. Oh, we really need to think about uh, which one we can put into our team because I've never seen somebody with three flock creatures. I think pr probably because if you got all three in a team, something is good against you. Maybe you won't stand much of a chance, or maybe you will. I don't know. It would be interesting to know. I deliberately haven't darted um, the little the, the ingredient for this, the flying bat thing. It was such a cute face. However, I should have, because every hit you get on it is basically a direct hit. It's so generous with it. Um, but we are we're very close. I mean, I say that, but, you know, 28, 29, 30... You know, those are the hard numbers to get. That's when you need a lot of DNA in order to keep going. But, you know, we, we popped it up just a little bit more there. And if we look at our leaderboards, for the first time in such a long time, it's obviously not me who's the only one that is struggling with this new meta. IDGT or whatever uh, is not in there, um, which is so weird to see because for God knows how long they have always been the top always like without a doubt they've always been there and yet here we are and i don't even oh number seven and in the last you know before the update they were like twelve thousand trophies so they were winning by a lot now it could be that 
I don't know if this is the team they use. They always put out the Apex. And I feel like that's just a cover-up for their actual team. So when they log on, they switch them, do some battles, and then switch them back. So if anybody sees, they're like, oh, this must be the team they're using. However, now our number one is King Dread. And yeah, there it is. That's the new thing, the Listro Savis, or whatever you want to call it. Um, now, what's good about this is it does have something that goes through armor. It also has a decent amount of chance to stun but like i said most things are immune to stun um but it's immune to some damage reduction it's also the 75 percent chance to resist the stun is always there but it does feel like with the evasive restore to get your health back it doesn't matter how low your health is you can do that hey a spinosaur gen 2 oh yes let's dodge you <laughs> So why not we do a battle and just see if we can actually win? Now, normally I might go with Comsoraptor. Uh, I have recently been starting with a referentum, but uh, e each one uh, has their problems. Like maybe I put ref in and then the, indo the Indominus or whatever comes in. Uh, I guess then I could probably swap to Comsoraptor. So maybe that's the tactic I, I got to think of. Put in ref if I have a way to swap it out. Oh, that's interesting. The only time I have ever bumped into Hydroboa is down in Gyrosphere. As soon as I got demoted, would you believe here it was? <laughs> Which is very interesting. Maybe very telling, too. Um, so, the thing is, I kind of have to stay in because if I swap, I think I get locked in. Or, yeah, either way, I'm taking like 3,000 damage. Um, now, I am still quicker. Um, I'm going to have to go for this. Um, he has the opportunity to actually swap out, which he is doing. And there it is! Is it a level 30? Of course it's a level 30. Right, yeah. He was... I mean, I was quicker, so even if I swapped out, I would have been killed and also healed it. Um, so there was nothing really I could do there. Now, I guess the only thing I can do is go for Comsoraptor and make sure that I kill it. Um, he's not doing much damage to me. He's probably killing one, maybe two. But apart from that... Um, oh, look at that. Bah, big hit. Wow, okay. Uh, so it was Hydra Boa, wasn't it? Ooh. He could probably swap in Hydra Boa again. Um, but you know what? He... Did he go for his quicker move? I don't... I think he just killed me. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go for my quickest move. Uh, ooh, do I actually kill him? Oh, thank God I still kill him. Oh, that was close. <laughs> again, that would have been another instance where if I was one level higher... Well, I would have been able to kill him easy. And that's what happens a lot with these games. It's like, oh, I would have been able to kill him if I was just a tiny bit stronger. Um, so with this, kind of thinking to go for that big hit and then the Rexy. But then again, I'm going to die if I do that. So I'm thinking I might as well just ha swap in Rexy, I suppose. At least with Rexy, I can go for like a giant hit. Um, and then I've still got Comsor Raptor to finish off the Hydro Boa. Hydro Boa, it's got more chance of killing Hydro Boa than anything else I've got, let's be honest. Because Rexy's probably easily killed and definitely Alberto, I think. Um, but the, the Hostile Glow, you know, I can deal with. Um, I mean, what's he got next is then 3,900. So even then, I might as well just go for the biggest hit. We've got to just to destroy his shield. We don't get the crit. I've been getting crits recently with Rexy, which is interesting. Uh, but we have died. Oh yes, fun time. Um, so now it's a case of do I put in Alberta Servia or oh he's swapping ah interesting interesting okay so I think at this point I can safely go for my Alberta Servia um, and then he's gonna have to swap uh, yes because it doesn't matter what he does here he's gonna have to swap out otherwise he loses Hydro Boa and then as long as whatever he puts in doesn't stop me from swapping out, which he definitely can do, I can get health back onto... Oh! Oh, well played. Well, you know, yeah, okay. Okay, actually, that was bad on his part. <laughs> he did not want to stun me there. Because if, if he hadn't stunned me, I would have used my priority move. But because he did stun me, I've still got it ready to go. So his Hydro Bow is dead, and it depends. Oh, it's a Forex. Ooh, this will be interesting. So he needs a crit to kill me, and he's got 10% chance of that. Uh, otherwise, uh, well, hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Um, I'm just going to go for that. 
Oh, wait, what? He didn't even do it? Oh, well played, good sir. Okay. He Ooh, has he won? Oh, this will be interesting. Ooh, okay, okay. Now, does he stop me from swapping out? Oh, he does. Oh, the bugger. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. Yeah, so even though I've got priority, he's faster and he's killed me. I'll just try. I mean, he's going to lock me in. Yeah, there's nothing I could do. Um... I mean, I guess what I probably could have done is try to distract him. Oh, wait, what? How come I... How did I get a counter off there? He didn't attack me. All he did was try to stun me. And yet that still counted as an attack? That's weird because I feel like that happened. Because didn't it used to attack you if you try to swap out? But they've still kept the passive counter for it? Interesting. Well, there you go. That's one battle. Let's see if we get another loss, shall we? How low can we go? Yes. I think, yeah, I should have lowered his attack there and then either have gone for the precise pound or precise rampage or the, you know, the extra attack. I probably should have went for that. Damn, that's a bug. Okay, so let's have a think what we got here. Uh, worst case scenario, into Taurus and into Nemes if I put in Delo Kairos. So we'll put in Delo Kairos first. And then if that happens... Ooh, not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. So what are the chances that he's going to attack me? Now, the normal play to do is to just go for the regular heal. Ah, an Anklos looks. Well played. Okay. So, Anklos looks does fill in the niche of killing my Comsor Raptors. So if I get rid of this, that's good for me. He's got... And close looks, and he's got rep. Both are really good at killing my, uh, my things. <laughs> um, so I think Rexy's, you know, Re it's not the best thing against these. I feel it's only really good against the Anklos Lux. It's not really good against uh, Ref, so I may as well swap it out to take a Hostile Glow, and then I can do a big hit to it. Uh, if he gets lucky, he might want to go for his priority move, but I don't think he will. He'll also be stuck in another turn, at which point it's how do I finish it? Because if I want to, do I get a crit? Again, I haven't been getting crits with Rexy recently. I don't even remember the last time I got a crit with Rexy. It's 45%. But you know, a dinosaur that has like 10 or 20% feels like it's got 80% sometimes. But Rexy 45 does not feel like 45, at least for me at the moment. Uh, so, interesting, interesting. I could put out, uh, hmm, 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 should we, I don't know, man, I feel like, I, like I said, I feel like recently I just have no idea what's good anymore, so I may as well just go for this, he does have his ref, oh, interesting, interesting, he's gonna reduce my attack a whole bunch, okay, okay, now, 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 he's, Probably going to go for his priority move, because he does not want me to hit him with this. Yeah, yeah, he definitely doesn't want me to hit him with that. So if he's got that, I may as well go for this. And then he might have to show if he's got a swap in hitter at this point, because that's not going to kill me. Um, it's also not going to bleed me. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, but I get my speed. That's actually really good, because... I can then go for my heal or do ooh. Ooh! He can't swap out. Yeah, he can't swap out. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's good. I can get some health. He's gonna do a big hit here. Actually, hold on. Hold on. If he gets a crit here, if he gets a Ooh! <laughs> he could have been. He really could have been well. Okay, okay. So he doesn't have his priority. Um and I could go for my big heal here. But you think he's going to swap into Anklos Lux? I feel like he's going to swap into Anklos Lux. I think so. I think so. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Let's predict him swapping. It's very unlikely. Hey, he didn't, damn it. <laughs> Should have just went for the priority heal, really. Because now he's going to go for a little hit, I think. Yeah, he goes for a little hit. And now, unfortunately, he's got that big one. He's got the priority. And there is nothing I can do. I basically just killed myself here. I thought, you know what? Let's risk the biscuit. Maybe he'll go for, like, you know, he'll try and swap out and put an Anklos Lux again to set up with the invincibility. Uh, he's really struggling. What? What? Why the... Oh, wait, did he not have it? Maybe he didn't. Oh, actually. 
Maybe I did a, a big brain. It's possible. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, de definitely did not mean to do that. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, ooh, this is interesting. This guy's pretty beastie. Um, ooh. Ooh. Do I want to? I don't know. I think it's counters pretty killer. I don't think I can reduce his attack either. As oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, I think he's got it. I think he's got it. I yeah, he's definitely killed me. Delayed revenge distracting rampage. Yeah, this again, I never even see this thing. Only in the lower leagues will this thing even pop up. Uh, so it has no priority, which is great for me. Um... I could go for the dealer Kairos and just go for a heal here. Um, he is faster, but I don't think... After he's used that... Oh, the revenge is a cooldown of one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, this is what I was expecting him to do with Rev, was to just, like, set this up. Um, so I think he gets... Yeah, one turn of invincibility, which I think is the turn he swaps in. He might even get the next turn. In which case, that's not good for me, because then he's also going to then go for his priority and do it again. Um, yeah, so... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because there's nothing I can do here. Um, hmm. I think he's won. <laughs> I, think, I think he's also won. Yeah, not including this recording session, but I have lost so many times now. It's in the double digits. And the, it's gotten so bad that, like, you know, maybe I'm just terrible at the game. It's highly likely. But it just, it just it feels so bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, we have to swap out now. Uh, because he... Oh, wait, maybe not. He could have went for his alert, but that wouldn't have killed me. He could have went for his rampage and run, which would have killed me. Um, I don't think this is going to kill him because it doesn't go through the armor. And he gets invincibility, of course. Um... And then I'm, I'm maybe, it depends what he does here. If he goes for his priority. Oh, he did. Okay, now what, what's my chance to resist? 75% chance. Um, didn't get it, but he does have his invincibility. Oh, but the counter, I completely forgot. Never mind, doesn't make a difference. Uh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so what's he, what does he have? I don't even know. Andrew? He has the Andrew, right? Um, I don't know what his other one is. Andrew Tops. Oh, Andrew Tops has a... Yeah, his tax is swapping. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay. Right. Oh, wait. What? Does it not attack me on the swapping? I thought it did. Right. Okay, so what's his other dinosaur? Oh, it's an Indian Emmys. Woo! <laughs> yeah, he knows he's won at this point. There's nothing I could do. I can't swap out. He just has to go for his big devour hit. And that is... Uh, that's game. Well done. It, I was I was wondering what other dinosaur he had that he that we know there wasn't an opportunity to hit all my flocks or anything that I thought would have presented the opportunity from the swapping and hit or anything. But yep, yeah, and Dominemis will do it. And we just keep dropping lower and lower. It's honestly like at this point, I know it's because I'm not used to fighting the dinosaurs I'm used to, and I'm still getting used to this meta, but like, it just feels bad. Like, there's so many things that feel bad about this game. The microtransactions, the monetizing, the meta, the 75% chance to get a stun. You know, the, t the time that it tells you you've got like a 50 or 60% chance to get crits. Don't get crits. There's so much RNG as well as like money hungriness with Jurassic World Alive that it just, everything about it feels bad at the moment. And I know that you guys have come to expect Jurassic World Alive, maybe I'll, I'll put this in a, in a video at one point because I know that, you know, everyone expects Jurassic World the game, they expect Jurassic World Alive, but there's, there's you know, there's not too much coming on, going on with Jurassic World Alive, uh, the game, and when it comes to Jurassic World Alive, it just feels bad. So both these games that people ha are, are wanting to come for are, like, aren't there. And if I'm going to be honest, I'd rather play other games. <laughs> like, if I'm honest, and if people want to see the aisle, they want to see other games, and I feel like maybe I'll address this in a video. For for those of you that are staying here for just this little bit at the end, this is your reward. You get my thoughts. Uh, yeah, I think I will do a video just addressing it, being like, like, unless something new comes out for them, I don't really want to play them on the channel. I'm, that's my honest opinion. Like, it feels like, at least with Jurassic Park Builder, they had an end and it was closed down. Maybe, you know, a lot of people still wanted to play it. But it just feels like at the moment, 
you know, I don't, I, I just don't want to. <laughs> just for the game, I'd rather play than just for the live because, honestly, there's a, there's, when you log in, there's a few things you do, and then it's straight onto battles, like straight onto feeling bad and losing and losing, you know, uh, if you don't have the dinosaurs, um, and or like get like even when you win the battles, you know, it's never just like a nice experience because maybe you just want the the wins, you want those three things to unlock the daily incubator, or you're just after filling your slots to just do the incubators, but there's there's not a way just to do that, you know, you have to you have to you know traverse the treacherous path of PvP, which might bring your day down because you'll get stunned by something that you've barely got a chance to, or you'll just lose five times in a row. Um, yeah, so I'll make a video on that separately. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like until next time. I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye <laughs>